Superboo21, Tom again here with you, he already the third video and now we have the hardware side. Yes. You have a new module. Yes. We've got wiretap. You know, wiretap sounds like, like a really difficult thing these days, but it's, you know, it's of course a pun. Wiretap uh, is, a, is a module that, um, that snoops on a CV signal and uh, analyzes it. And maybe all the people who doesn't uh, saw it yet. Your first module is on the market. Yeah, it's yes. out. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, So right. far, the feedback from the comp customers is great. Happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. We have we have several customers who bought three civilizations. It's like it's like you have one and you realize, oh, I need three. Right. So this is something that some of our customers did, and we are actually preparing a new production run despite the shortage of parts. And um, our uh, assembly assembly guys, they have brokers and stuff. So we just we're doing as many as we can. And um, it's, it's kind of like it came out like I think like about nine months ago, maybe mm -hmm. like I think late last year it came out. And um, now the and we have we get more and more shops where we sell it, and they the 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 distances between the orders. Are shortening so it's pretty cool I'm um, not yet uh, check it out but uh, it um, I looked some of the video and it looks really dense really deep and but the color the interface is brilliant how you managed to uh, to change yeah, yeah, it's, funny. it's like a, yeah, it's a colored yes, user yes. interface it's yeah color user interface. And we also have we also have uh, uh, color schemes for colorblind people ah, yeah. yeah for the, <laughs> the three different main uh, Things you know where they don't and see red, or and I think your second module is a bit not so super deep. It's a bit more compact. Yeah, it's simple. It's simple. simple. This is wiretap. This is black module here in the middle, which uh, has all these nice blinking orange lights. So what's happening here is this civilization, which is our other module, is currently producing two sequences. It's a step sequencer. And these two sequences go into the two inputs of wiretap. And they come out again here and they drive the, uh, the, the, the base sequence oscillator and they drive the, the, the plot that does the, um, the high bell type sounds, right? So these are, these are pitch CV, this is the pitch CV in, here comes the pitch CV out again. And this is where wiretap snoops on the signal. And on the first signal, it checks if the signal goes up, or if the signal changes direction, or if the signal is lower than the signal of the other side. And on this side, we check if the signal goes down, or if the signal jumps, but that's not used at the moment, or if the signal is lower than the other, than the other side again. And so what it does is, it checks out where the melody goes and creates different gates for any event like, you know, a new note or a jump whatsoever. And then the gate time can be set with this goatee and I can make it really short. Then you have very short gates. I can also make it really long. And when it's really long, sometimes the gates overlap, then there are no new nodes. So I set it to the middle. And um, on the bottom here, we have two envelopes. These envelopes are normal to the up and the down gate. And um, but we could patch anything into the into the uh, um, inputs of them. And for the two envelopes, we have a decay time as well. Right there. And that works together with the gate time. Now we've got super short envelopes. Now they've got nicer, longer, longer decays. Somewhere here is a sweet spot. 
Yeah, and this is basically everything that Wiretap does. It's very simple, and the idea behind it is that um, uh, you can you can drive a whole voice or two voices of your modular synth with just a CV source, with just uh, anything that creates a pitch CV, uh, be it a keyboard or a sequencer or uh, any random source, a stepped random source or um, a random oscillator whatsoever. And um, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, an, an auto, auto trigger, so to speak. Um, but you can also, like here, um, use, use uh, sequences to create the whole rhythm. The drums are made by peaks and the drums are driven from the from the two lower and higher gates, right? They come out. I don't actually. That's not true. The the pink ones are the drums, right? So the when when the first when the first sequence goes up, we have the. Oh no! Actually, I misspoke. This is just the envelopes here. Ah, uh, whatsoever. <laughs> I haven't I haven't done the patch. So the, 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 the module was on your wish list. Yes, yes, of course, yes, yes. I have, um, I work a lot with uh, sequences that are based on uh, sample and hold and um, civilization creates a lot of sequences that are based on sample and hold where sometimes you might have the, the same node again and again and again and then uh, I wanted to have something that triggers new nodes only if the node really changes and um, uh, which is something that, for instance, uh, uh, rings from mutable instruments does that by itself. But um, plats, for instance, I think doesn't do it. And uh, normally, most most voices that you create in a modular synth don't do that by themselves, right? And um, yeah, I wanted I wanted to decouple uh, having to have like a trigger sequencer or a rhythmic sequencer create. Or drive the drive the melodic sequencer, and this way I can just do that. And uh, it's come it's uh, arriving when on the market? Um, well, the, the the best trick is to say Q4 or Q1. We don't really know. Uh, there's um, we have we have we are about to um, reserve assembly slots, but sometimes parts are just not available anymore. It's currently the big part shortage worldwide. Um, it is designed to with parts that should be in supply. And we think like we could start production in maybe a month or two. And then uh, we see where that goes. I mean, uh, we try under 150. We think that 129 would be a sweet spot. But um, we can't really say for sure before we know the offer from the assembly guys. Okay. Thank you. Oops. Cool. I wish Thank you good you. luck for this new module and a Thank you. It's Thank two you. More days and yeah. uh, big thanks. And hope you see you again in one of the next Anatomy videos. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye.